hello everyone today we are going to talk about uh, data raptor turbo extract and how can we use different uh, configuration in the turbo extract data raptor as we know there are multiple kind of data raptor uh, turbo extract extract and load and transform we are going to talk about turbo extract today so let's go to directly to the org here we are going to create demo data raptor extract interface type will be turbo extract and this will be be used for demo purpose we'll save it now let's talk about different things on the turbo extract turbo extract uh, data adapter have three options only extract options and preview there is no formula field which we can use it uh, there is nothing transformation which we can use it we only use uh, the related uh, object and um, corresponding related object so let's say if we wanted to do a query on the case then we will be using case and filter will be on id and then we can say there are different options for querying so there will be case id here this will be input parameter for here and we can take all the related information for that let's say case number we can take comments now let's say description all right and let's say origin priority and reason these are the field which we are sending or we can search it from here i will come to the related object once we will be talking about this one so we'll be coming here at parameter case id this is my case id i'll be selecting so if you see right now the case is giving me exact record of that case which is having case number this priority and id now if i wanted to retrieve a related object for that case so case having related objects uh, salesforce object account asset business hours contact so i can say let's say account which is related so i'll be getting the accounts field here i can get the account name so let's say account dot name i can get it from here account dot type so i can relate it here and i'll putting here if i'll do again a query here you can see it is retrieving the value of the account it is giving me the id it is giving me the name of that account which is related to this case id so the whole objective of the data raptor extract you can select one of the salesforce object here and you can take the related object information which are linked to this case and it is the easiest and the fastest way to get the record for that particular object so as i told it does not support formulas you can't use mapping there is no customization which you can do but there are a few things which you can do so let's talk about those things let's say i can use different kind of filters like not like include exclude and there is a in filter is also there which i can use so let's take that example i will remove this one i will take a contact object here now i am having a requirement where i want uh, multiple names to be entered uh, as an input parameter and so let's say names will be there and i want in uh, provided those names in that particular parameter and that th this will search a query of select whatever the fields you wanted to have here and 
its corresponding uh, information and the list of those records so you can use uh, name uh, values as an uh, array and you can retrieve the record so we'll description birth date email id first name last name let's say we will take these many fields here now how to pass the value so we have to delete this one first so passing the value uh, for that name what we have to do names so what you what we are going to do names we have to pass that an array whatever the value you wanted to pass let's say i'm having one of the value is andy and i'm having one of the values a james all right now we'll try to execute this thing okay so let's see i will try to execute this thing so see right now what's query is happening it is saying select where first name in so let's see this is what is happening in so we can use this thing and this is record is coming so list of record of that uh, particular context context is coming which is having name values andy and james whatever so we are getting those records here so we can use this in parameter and where we can pass the object value in a names and that's the way we can utilize uh, this filter uh, in this turbo extract so just to give you this example now this in is not available in any dr you can check this one um, this is as per uh, in any data raptor apart from turbo extract this is very important to note that the in this in in filter criteria this is only used yeah this one so this can be only applicable in this turbo extractor all right